All right, Eagle fans, it's National Signing Day here at North Carolina Central, and the signing class for 2010 is complete. I'm Chris Hooks, joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Mose Risen. And, Coach, before we get to the signing class today, uh, let's talk about how you guys ended the season. Really strong, big win, a way to end the year against Savannah State. Oh, absolutely. It was a, uh, a, a great finish uh, to a very demanding season. At the same time, I think uh, if you talk to the players on the football team, I think they were extremely excited about what we were able to accomplish down the stretch. We won four out of the last five games. We played some pretty tough opponents. Uh, felt like we really had some, uh, some, some momentum going into the off season. And really looking forward to uh, 2010 with the players we have returning. Well, it seems like you used that momentum in, in this off season to, to, to recruiting. Uh, what did you feel like going into the off season? Uh, what were your big needs? Well, I tell you what, you know, as we, you know, as we sit back as a, as a staff and really had an opportunity to assess our needs, I think one of the positions we really had to address was our offensive line. We, we've lost some good players in the last couple of years. Uh, last year we lost Eric Stanley to an early season injury in terms of preseason. Uh, then graduated uh, Gabe Mance, who's been a four-year starter for us. And so we thought it was important that we address our needs from an offensive line standpoint. We were able to do that. Uh, we feel like the uh, five offensive linemen that we have coming uh, would be uh, an outstanding uh, an addition to our football program. You signed 13 officially for uh, this 2010 signing class. You feel like your your needs were certainly met overall. Oh, no question. I mean, you know, once again, you know, I tell you, um, every player looks good on paper, and uh, we're extremely excited about having these young men. We have some outstanding student athletes. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be glad to get them here in August, and, and so we can get started and see just where we are. Uh, we think some of the kids will have an, have an opportunity. Uh, as freshmen to make a contribution. Uh, there are a couple of transfers in the group from junior college, and uh, we have a couple of kids here on campus already. So we, we feel good about this, you know, about the kids we have, and uh, we look forward to these kids making an outstanding contribution to our football program. 13 seems like a very low number, but to send caution out to the Eagle fans, that just shows what we have coming back. You only lost five seniors this year, so the talent we have coming back and the talent we now recruited should be a good mix to see what we could be next season. Oh, no question. No question. I mean, if you couple the fact that uh, we able to redshirt about 15 freshmen last year and the fact that we only had five seniors uh, we lost five seniors in, uh, last season and, and we didn't have many scholarships to give out but the ones that we did give out we, we feel very comfortable with what we were able to assign on this particular day and so you take that with the red shirts I and mean, we feel like we can be an outstanding football team next fall. Did that make the process a little more difficult because you could be more selective with your scholarships? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're very selective. I mean, we really wanted to make sure that, uh, for example, the offensive line, we wanted to get some range. We want to become more linear. And, uh, and at times we felt like uh, we had some, some problems in terms of reach, overall reach, because we weren't exactly tall enough. And uh, most of these offensive linemen coming here will be 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 6 6 And so uh, we think we really, really did a great job of researching these offensive linemen and, and think these kids will make, a, like I said, an outstanding contribution. What's the next step for, for the coaching staff? Is this sort of relax for a little bit as you get set for spring ball? What's the next step for you, Coach? No, I mean, you know, I mean obviously we'll take a couple of days and just kind of uh, you know, catch our breath. Uh, the coaches have done an outstanding job from a recruiting standpoint, and I, I want them to be fresh as we go into spring football. And so we'll take a couple of days and, and really kind of take it easy and have a little downtime. But, uh, you know, in a, in, a, in a week or so, it'll be time to gear it up for spring practice. And so, uh, like I said, I'm excited. We have about 90 uh, student athletes that are going to go to spring practice with us, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to the competition we're going to have. All right, Coach, we enjoy those few days off. Thank you very much. That was Head Coach Mose Rising as we talk about the 2010 recruiting class here at North Carolina Central.